In question 3 of this exercise, part 1 says, for any integer a, what is minus 1 into a equal to? This part is easy because we know that minus 1 multiplied by any integer gives us the additive inverse of that integer. So, minus 1 times a will give us the additive inverse of a. So, let's write this. Minus 1 into a will give us the additive inverse of a which is equal to minus a. So, this is the answer for the first part. Minus a is the answer for part 1. Then in part 2, uh, the statement is determine the integer whose product with minus 1 is equal to minus 22, 37 and 0. So, for minus 22, we write this statement minus 1 into blank is equal to minus 22. And then now we have to determine the correct integer for this blank. So, what will be that integer be? Well, like we saw in part 1, minus a, minus 1 times a is equal to minus a. Therefore, if we put 22 here, this statement will become correct because minus 1 into 22 will be equal to minus 22. Similarly, in part b, we have uh, 37. So, we write the statement minus 1 into blank is equal to uh, 37. So, what integer will go into the blank? Well, the correct integer will be the negative of uh, 37, which is minus 37. So, we will put minus 37 here because minus 1 into minus 37 is equal to 37. And then in part C, we have the integer 0. So, for this, we write the statement minus 1 into blank is equal to 0. And now we note that the only integer which when multiplied with minus 1 gives 0 can be 0 itself. So, we put 0 here and the statement becomes minus 1 into 0 is equal to 0. So, the answers for part 2 are 22 minus 37 and 0. So, this completes part 2 and with this we have completed question number 3. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.